What is the difference between weather and climate? In another video, you can learn about the climates of terrestrial planets and how they are caused by insulation, reflectivity, and the greenhouse effect. When we talk about climate, we are referring to long-term, large-scale averages of temperatures and precipitation. Weather, on the other hand, is short-term, more localized variation of temperatures and precipitation. Weather is measured directly from hour to hour and day to day and then plotted. Measurements of climate need to track the data over long periods of time and over large areas before averaging them. This is not to say that climate is caused by weather. Climate is merely measured through weather measurements. You can liken climate to overall sports team standings. They are based on the winning ratio for an entire season. The standing may be a measure of how good a team is on average, but not necessarily a predictor of how it is going to fare in any given particular game. Nor a predictor against every single particular rival team. In the same way, averaging temperatures around the Northern Hemisphere through an entire millennium can reveal changes in the climate but will not be a predictor of the specific hour-to-hour -hour temperatures on a July day in Vancouver, Canada. Overall climate is caused by long-term large-scale forcing. So what causes localized short-term variation that becomes weather? The causes of weather are quite numerous and far too complex to cover 
in a single short introductory video. Here, we will cover only some examples of them. Recall that surface heating depends on solar elevation. The higher up the sun is, the more heating. This explains the variation of heating throughout the day as the sun is highest in the sky at noon. This also explains why it is hotter at the equator and cooler at the poles. However, the surface of the Earth is not uniform, so diffraction of sunlight absorbed varies greatly with location. This will introduce differences in surface heating, hence temperatures, and that can cause air circulation from dense cold areas to locations with hot air that rise. Complicating things further is that heating of water causes it to evaporate, which absorbs more energy, but it also moves the water into the atmosphere where it can form highly reflective clouds. The circulation of water is also subject to variations based on geography. If differential heating alone causes weather, then one would expect cold air from the poles to constantly move towards the equator. This is not what is observed. The reason for this is the rotation of the Earth that prevents large latitudinal movement of air. This sets up large circulational zones and is also responsible for the spin of large-scale storm systems such as hurricanes. The relationship between the rotation of a planet and its circulation zones is best exemplified by Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet and it also has the fastest rotation rate at under 10 hours. Hence, it has many more circulation zones and much faster winds.